expect to do three videos tonight? Nope. Am I, got, am I doing it? Yep. Just want to show you a little update. Nothing's changed here. A little Funko update. Nothing has changed with just my random assortment Funkos. It's still chaos. But now I have my Infinity War Venom series. Rocket is down because God Jesus. Then there's this. Name, find a video of the last time a Funko shelf of mine looked that empty. Look at the space this thing has now. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Of course, I got my wrestler Funkos down here, which I still need to restack. Got my Japan shelf, exclusion being uh, Kong right there between Bakugo and Godzilla right behind Runo. And now we also have my DC collection right up here. Of course, this collection will be bigger with more DC pops. I just need to clean off that whole, that whole shelf. I don't know where this is gonna go. Most likely, this might st some of this stuff might go under my bed. Mainly, uh, that WWE thing. Originally, when I first when I first got that, it was a birthday present or just some random toy that my dad bought me. It was made to collect, just hold my wrestling toys. I keep my hand keeps just wandering off. But yeah, I collected too many of them. There's my graduation cap, which I might just put with my gown. A bunch of random paper and whatever the devil else is up there. Some ceramic stuff I made in, I don't know, a vase pot thing I made in art class when I was in high school. I remember I got that vase at a yard sale a couple years ago. And of course, my diploma of high school. Yeah, just a little Funko update. This shelf, I am really, this Japan shelf, I really want to expand, but I'm not sure how. Because the idea of this shelf is, and I'm positive I've explained this a few times, this shelf is strictly for Japanese memorabilia, not just Funko Pops, even though that's what dominates this. The exclusions are these little Godzilla figures in Mothra, plus my lantern candle thing, which I'm not always nervous to turn on because it might... So I want to buy, find more Japanese, influ Japanese influence stuff, but again, course as I said the exclusion being Kong because I can't put him with the random stuff since he's I think he's too big to fit on that shelf he's not Marvel and he's not DC and he sure as hell ain't a wrestler so I just come down to think this is from Godzilla versus Kong set and so yeah I decided to do it like that just a little update and hopefully that shelf gets a few more characters one character I do want to get because I have two of him uh, if I move Tony, Iron Man, and Cap a little out of the way, I have two technical Spider-Man. One with the Doctor Octopus style claws and this. I can't remember what these two characters' names are. If you can find the video, please help me out. Because <laughs> there's so many fun go videos on my channel. But I want to get some traditional Spider-Man. Kind of like with Tony. I have an Iron Man Endgame, which this is probably... My favorite Funko of all that I have in my entire collection. Mainly because this is one I pre-ordered before it was even released. So, yeah. Oh, God. I have the Venomized Iron Man, which is probably my favorite Venom series Funko. I have the Iron Hammer, which might be my... Ah, uh, this is... It's hard. It's either... When it comes to the Infinity Warps, it's a tie between... The Iron Hammer and Ghost Panther. And I have the Iron Man Luchador right down there. So I have a bunch of Iron Man, but I still don't own just a te a classic Iron Man. Where, where he's full in fully in the suit in the helmet. So I want to find them, and I want to find a few more Spider-Man. Because... Also, I want to find another Doctor Strange, because while reorganizing, I forgot I had this. This is by far the most random Funko Pop in my entire... Oh, can I can see me that I currently don't have a shirt. Ignore me. Uh, this one. This freaking metallic gold Doctor Strange Funko. I don't know why I ha I bought this one. I think it's because I could not find any other Doctor Strange and I like him. So, yeah. I have this random Doctor Strange Funko. 
I'm gonna find a new Doctor Strange. Maybe I'll get a Shang Chi pop since I have this character. I don't remember her name. Yeah. One Craven Iceman's back there. Taskmaster, you can kind of count. Lizard Mysterio. Uh, this is thing. All these characters have kind of once or tw except the Shang Chi. I love. I was a little. My camera was probably down here while I was doing it. Sorry. So many of these Marvel characters have appeared in the Spider-Man universe, but again, I want to collect more Spider-Man Funkos. If imagine, I would love for them to make a Funko about Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. That'd be awesome. Like the texture would be like what his suit would feel like. Also, yeah, apparently my camera went, my hand and my subconscious want to focus on my five star awards that I got when I was in middle school. This is such a random video, I know, but it's Funkos and you know, how, I mean, for God's sake, I have four. Let me, how many shelves I actually have to accommodate these things? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six shelves of Funko Pops. And I know there's people who collect more of these because they keep them in the box so they can snap them. Stack them. I'm just going to end this. Bye.